Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. In this episode we're going to be looking at a modification for the LC7137 and the LC7132 that I've been working on. Now this is still untested in the actual radio but I see no reason why it shouldn't work. So let's take a look. So we're looking at data sheet for the LC7136 and if we scroll down we see the truth table for the inputs from the channel select. Now I know there's different methods of actually piggybacking the LC7132 onto the 7137 and using the back of the channel display for the inputs to the 7132 because they are different but it got me thinking that the channel change still outputs a code and why not get an Arduino to interpret this code and take the input from the channel select and output it to the correct outputs that the LC7132 understands. So if we look at the 7137 we have six inputs and they all change depending on which channel. We'll look at the data sheet for the 7132 and we have eight inputs that is required to identify the channel. Now as I said it got me thinking why can't we use an Arduino for this? So I set about making a prototype board on a piece of breadboard with some LEDs and an Arduino Nano just to see whether theoretically it could be possible and this is what I've come up with so let's take a look at the Arduino code so we've set up a few variables no problem set the inputs the pin inputs those are from the channel change because they should be the same in every radio because every radio uses a 7137 of that type so that should be exactly the same so we set the outputs the pin mode outputs so we're using the analog inputs on the Arduino for the input and we're using the digital outputs for the out and we've just set pin mode in pin mode out so that's set up so in the loop we've set digital read on the inputs and then this is just repeated 40 times so for channel 1 if input state 1 is 1 and then 2 is 0, 3 is 0, 4 is 0, 5 is 0, 6 is 0 which corresponds to channel 1 of the um, LC7137 and the output should be 11110111 which will look at the code 11110111 and then this is just repeated 40 times for each one of the different channels a little bit tedious to write but once it's done it's done so once I've done that I'd, I had built it onto a piece of breadboard and this is what happened on the breadboard so here is a quick demonstration of it inputting on the analog inputs and when you change the inputs on the analog inputs it changes on the eight LED outputs so in theory this should work I've got no reason to suspect it won't because the uh, LC chips will take 5 volts I hope I've got no reason to suspect they won't um, some pull up pull down resistors there just to stop the Arduino going a bit mad so the next step is to fit it into a radio and see if it works anyway that's for part two thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next episode.